crazy, man. It's a beautiful day to buy a car. So I just landed in Idaho Falls, Idaho from Sacramento. I'm buying a 1997 Mustang Cobra today. 44,000 miles, original owner. You guys will see that in a couple minutes. But one of my subscribers named Sean, he has been commenting. He's been subscribed to me for a, how long? Uh, a long time, quite a, a year or two or something yeah, like that. Yeah, well over a, a year. He comments on almost every video with the nicest, nicest comments. Um, and I know him by name. And he actually he picked me up from the airport. So he's bringing me to down to Pocatello, Idaho, where we will see the Mustang shortly. But Sweet dude, that's so cool, man. I told him like last minute, I told him at my layover in uh, Salt Lake City that, hey, uh, my flight got moved up. Would you still be interested in picking me out? Because originally I was supposed to be here like 5 p.m. and it's 11 a.m. And uh, <laughs> sure enough, yeah. I come out of the airport, Idaho Falls, and I see a Type R, and I'm like, that's probably Sean. Yeah, I was pretty stoked, dude. I, I, uh, yeah, I'm just, it's cool meeting people that in person that you just see. I don't know, I've always looked up to Cam, just yeah, amazing content, just a genuine good guy. And that's, I thought, man, what a perfect excuse to just get together and we're gonna go drive to Pocatello and it's just fun, man, it's cool. It's I really appreciate cool. that, man. Yeah, absolutely. This man. is Anything so much fun. Better. Can stoked. I buy you a coffee? You, you, we can get a coffee, whatever, man. All right, dude. Whatever, dude. Yeah, I'm totally down. Oh I literally, my God. I, I just said, uh, there's no way I'm missing this, dude. It's cool. I'll see my dad. I'm <laughs> my serious, God. dude. I just, we just got Starbucks. We're walking out, and I'm like, hey, I want to show them your car real quick, and then. Sean's like, oh, actually, I think my I think my family is eating lunch right there right now. And I'm like, you didn't abandon your family to come pick me up. And he's like, oh, no, I totally did. <laughs> I did. That's so, sure. dude, you're freaking awesome, yeah, man. I appreciate it, man. So, awesome. what is done? You know, honestly, just wheels, uh, yeah, wheels and tires. Wheels and uh, tires. They're, they're not like a super sticky tire. They're pretty, uh, not that clean now. But, the, yeah, they're Inky TSVs, I think is what they're called. Okay. Uh, solid gray pearl and just a can and drop in. Nice. And it just kind of opens up the sound, but I, I've kept it stock. Rally armor, mud flaps, and that's it, or whatever. We'll see what happens, dude. So, let's get down to Pocatello here. So let's get down to Pocatello, yeah, brother. Hop in, man. I gotta buy a Mustang today. Yes, <laughs> Pretty stoked. I've been waiting for this day. Man. Oh, okay. oh, there it is. Right on. This is awesome, man. Okay. Oh, wow. Right. Oh my bro. god, that's, that's clean. Sick, bro. What? Oh my god. That's so super stoked. clean. Dude, I was so stoked right <laughs> Oh my god. Dude, come out and see this with me. Yeah. Do you have a, oh, do you have a few minutes? Okay. Absolutely, bro. Let's do this. I'll be here for a minute. Oh my god. I need to ask. I don't think Doug wants to be on camera, so I'm going to ask him. It's okay. What is going on, Doug? Oh my god. So I'm here with Doug. Doug doesn't want to be on camera, which is perfectly okay, but uh, the Cobra will be on camera. The paint is in really good condition. So in 1996, they went to these headlights right here. The couple years prior, they were, they were horizontal, but I like these a lot. I actually like the wheels that are on it. I mean, the, the whole thing is really, really clean, guys. So I'm gonna drive it around the block and make sure that doesn't blow up. I'm just trying to be funny. It's not gonna blow up. It's not gonna blow up. Huh. Oh, I didn't. I didn't know this is leather. From the pictures, I couldn't tell if it was leather, or if it was uh, like oh, a no. cloth skin. It's leather. Okay. It's electric. Oh, it's electric. Where's the button? I think there's something wrong with my brain. Right here. Oh. Okay, so you had it in first. First. An Aaron Tycon XL 60 inch. Wait a minute. First, second, second third, fourth, neutral. Okay. I'm used to driving four cylinders, so a little different here. Oh. oh okay. I forget yeah. that with a V8, you you have all that torque. You don't really need to. Yeah, oh, okay. There's... This drive is pretty smooth, man. Yeah, it's tight. I don't think you're ready for this.
I am now the owner of a 1997 Ford Mustang Cobra. It has 44,000 miles, original owner. I just got done talking with Doug. I've been in Idaho since 11 a.m. and it is now 5.17 p.m. and I should be getting new tires right now but I am so excited. I just want to show you guys this car. I want to go drive around, get you guys some point of view footage. This is amazing. Doug took really good care of this thing. It does, it does have some swirls. I will do a compound and polish when I get back, and then ceramic coating. But, I mean, everything's intact. There's no clear coat peeling, nothing. Absolutely incredible. And this red is so vibrant. I've never had a red car before. And I'm very excited to have one now. And I'm very excited that, that my first red car is a Mustang Cobra. So let me go over the specs of this car real quick, and then we'll go for a drive. For 1997, this has a dual overhead cam, 4.6 liter V8, producing 305 horsepower and 300 pound-feet of torque. It's made with a five-speed manual transmission. That's the only transmission they offered for the Cobras. And this just looks so clean. Look at this, this is a hand-built engine, by the way, built by Paul and Dave. You know what would be really cool? Would be to track those guys down and see if they could answer some questions for me, like a little interview. I don't know, I'm getting a little, I'm getting, well, maybe I'm getting a little ahead of myself, but I'm just excited. This is so cool. This is a blast from the past. It's actually really, really easy to drive. I just have to get used to the clutch engagement, but I mean, this thing sounds like a truck. Oh, I'm so happy to be back in a V8. You guys know I've been talking about that for months and months and months. Yeah, shifters back in the 90s uh, were not what they are now, for sure. It's, yeah, I don't know. It's not like my Type R shifter, for sure, or the SI. This has a fresh oil change, oil filter, uh, courtesy of Doug. It also has a new battery. Uh, the only thing is, Doug has not driven this this year. So, I'm basically going to treat this for the first couple hundred miles as if it's a break-in. I need to get some new gas in the tank, uh, I need to get the car up to, you know, operating temperature and drive it and vary the RPM and everything like that to get, you know, all the fluids flowing. Think about the, the radiator. The radiator could be, you know, kind of gunked up. Um, who knows what? It's a 1997 and it hasn't been driven too much. So now a really cool thing about this car, and I will learn more about this so that I have, you know, accurate information for you. But from what I was gathering from the Mustang Forum, this has something similar to VTEC with Honda engines. And at 3,250 RPM, the uh, exhaust valves open up and it basically provides more power, just like like a Honda VTEC engine. So that's why when I'm like driving around town, I haven't even, I haven't even gotten over 2,200 RPM yet, but it's pretty quiet. And you know, obviously I'll fix that when I get home. I'll go over all the modifications I'm gonna be doing to this thing, probably in the next video. This is just gonna be my first impressions. And so far, my God, this is cool. Just 1990s awesomeness. No, it's not a beautiful interior. No, it's not a beautiful steering wheel. Oh my God. <laughs> you guys just wait. I'm about to provide some really, really good content with this. All right. So, it doesn't have too much torque. I mean, it's nothing like a C5 Corvette. It's nothing like a turbocharged car. But, I mean, that was only like a little less than half throttle. It's been about 25, 30 minutes, and I am noticing some things that I really like about this car. You guys know I like my visibility. Look at this. You can see everything in here. I, I absolutely love it. I am gonna look into some modifications like a shifter and a new steering wheel. Oh, it's a loud horn. All that noise you're hearing, I don't believe that's the car. Uh, Idaho is really, really windy. It's like in a valley in between the mountains. So, so hold on, let's pass this guy. Let's 
minutes. Should we go to third? Let's go to third. Okay, so I was just driving. I was in fifth gear and I wanted to go into fourth downshift to get off and get gas. And it, it the transmission's like the shifter's not moving, but it's not in any gear. So I turn the car, I have no idea what's going on. What the fuck is going on? Dude, this car is not moving right now, man. The shifter is, is not doing anything. I have no idea what to do in this situation. See, I can't pull the clutch out because it's like stuck in something and it's making this rattling sound. I, I mean, it sounds like, from videos I've seen on the internet, it sounds like a blown transmission. So a police officer, state trooper, is right behind me. He told me he thinks one of my synchros went out because he has the same problem that happened to his Jeep Wrangler. And uh, so he has a push bumper on his car and he is going to try and push me to the gas station up there. Obviously that is gonna cause a little damage to the rear bumper, but um, if there's something wrong with my transmission, I have to get this towed and I have to stay an extra night. I, I have no idea what's going on right now, guys. I have absolutely no idea what's going on. Uh, but I'm really freaking nervous because this could be extremely expensive and I can't freaking believe this is happening right now. I literally have, and he's a really nice guy. I literally have a, an Idaho State Trooper pushing my new Mustang on the side of the road. Everything else works. I mean, I have power steering, my, my lights are on, I have electricity, I have power, but the engine turns on, the engine's fine. It's the transmission. All right. All right, I'll let you figure it out from here, all right? Dude, what was your name again? Uh, Trooper Deal. Trooper Deal? Yes, sir. Dude, thank you so much for that. No worries. And like I was, I was, I was, scratch. I was waiting to get, <laughs> I was waiting to get rocked. I was like, oh crap, I'm gonna yeah. get, I'm, yeah. yeah. But I mean. Uh, like I said, I'm pretty sure you just lost a synchro. I don't think you actually destroyed anything. Um, so, I mean, if you know what you're doing, um, you can open that thing up pull the stick out and if you have a flat tip screwdriver you can realign them okay that's what I used to have to do um, that's if that's what your problem is so I don't know um, hopefully I get an experienced tow truck driver um, yeah uh, if you want to do that um, if you do need anything feel free to call our dispatch like if you want to leave it here and get everything figured out tomorrow and give you a ride to a hotel um, but yeah if you have anything that you need call our dispatch thanks man all right have a better evening hey you too Motherfucker, dude. I gotta make some calls. This is not a drill, ladies and gentlemen. I am at a random gas station in Delco, Idaho. You know as much as I do about what's going on. I, I have no idea. Um, I've spent the past hour and a half calling USAA, uh, talking to my friend Christian, who uh, has been a big supporter of my channel and, and owned a Cobra. He said it's either the shifter fork or a gear synchro. So, I, I mean, I don't have any tools with me. Here's another problem. Since I had just set up my new insurance for this car, uh, it actually doesn't take effect for like uh, the next 24 hours. Yep. Uh, it's Cameron Hill. What do you do? I do car stuff. Uh, yeah. So I just bought this in Pocatello and uh, the transmission went out on me. Oh, really? Yeah, I was driving it back to California. So now I'm waiting for a tow truck. Where are you going to get a tow to? Dude, I, don't, uh, I think it's they're bringing me to Good Motor Ford. Uh, it's Good Motor Ford. It's like, I don't know, 10 miles down the road. I, I'm not from around here, so I, I, I'm still trying to figure out what's going on, man. Uh, what's your channel called? Cameron Hill. It's my name. 
Do you have a lot of subscribers? I have 22,000. Where are you from? I'm originally from Maine, but I live in Rockland, California. It's pretty fucked up, huh, guys? Yeah. How old are you guys? 15. Oh, okay. You, you too? Yeah. You driving? Yeah, and I don't even drive 15. That's pretty cool. Well, right, when's this video gonna come out? Tomorrow. Oh, that's how fast you are? Yeah. Alright. Actually, fuck it, you, want, you guys wanna say hi? Yeah. yeah. So, oh, oh. The boys are out. Yeah. <laughs> the boys are out. Alright. Hey, uh, I expect to see some comments from you on the video. Alright. All right. Anyway, I'm gonna have to pay for the tow services and, and the services to get it fixed tomorrow morning, and then I can file a reimbursement once this is officially showing on my like USA account. This uh, this kind of sucks. I've had a I was hungry, and I was ready to stop at a subway, get myself a nasty steak and cheese. I really don't have an appetite anymore. Well, the tow truck's here. What was your name? Casey. Casey. Okay. So I just explained to Casey what happened. Uh, he's <laughs> currently following me on YouTube. I don't know what gear it's in. It's like it's like it's stuck in between gears. Yeah. And I know there's a reverse lockout, so it didn't go in, like I didn't put it in reverse. Okay. Yeah, the only way the police officer was able to push me over here, because I was originally over there before the stop sign. I literally just had to keep my foot on the clutch, like to the floor. And so I, it's not in neutral. It's, it's, I don't even know, like I think, the shifter fork might be stuck. I don't know what's going on. So, yeah. <laughs> my first experience being stuck on the side of the road. <laughs> well, yeah. we'll try and get you taken care of. All right, man. So, being stuck in gear, I am gonna have to drag it, which it's gonna wear your tires just a little bit. Okay. It's gonna do much though. Okay. I mean, the transmission stuck is the biggest issue, but it right. ain't gonna help. So. We'll try to make it as easy as possible. This is completely shit fucked. I'm sure you guys have noticed that. At this point, I am going to allow swearing in this video. Dude, this guy reminds me of David from uh, That Dude in Blue, that YouTube channel, That Dude in Blue. He reminds me of him. He sounds a lot like him. I hope you don't mind I do have my dog with me. Oh, it's okay. Okay. I love she dogs. She might love on you. That's okay, man. Get that. Hey! Hello! Get in the back! <laughs> Get in the back! Have you had a lot of these? Yeah. Been going since, what, 7.30 this morning? Gosh darn. Well, now you're gonna be on YouTube. <laughs> well, that's alright with me. Okay. So Casey here, he just told me that he had visited Caribou, Maine. Caribou, Maine's my hometown. And turns out, he knows someone that I know from Caribou, Maine, which is absolutely wild. What are the freaking chances? I'm in the middle of nowhere in Idaho. No offense, guys. <laughs> I mean, I'm from the middle of nowhere. And I meet someone, my tow truck driver, who has been to my hometown. That is, that's, that kind of blows my mind, dude. It's one heck of a That is cool. It's super small world. Yeah. That's freaking nuts, dude. So, yes, I am dropping this off at a Ford dealership. And yes, I am prepared to pay an arm and a leg, even if it's just a simple fix because we're out of Ford dealership. What are the chances? I meet somebody who has been to my hometown. He knows people I know. And my Ford, which stands for found on road dead, breaks down within 45 minutes of me owning it. What are the chances, everyone? It does look good, though. Once it's back up and running, 
I'm gonna hit it with those sweet modifications, guys. You already, you already know. You already know me. That's an interesting process. I didn't know that's how that works. Dude, Casey is a freaking badass. I like this guy. And uh, these guys don't have to do this, but they're gonna give me a ride to a hotel. So, it's working out, it's working out. 